It's Thursday. You know what that means. You lost. Ah, morning. Well, it feels it. Straight away. My eyes are not cooperating with me today. Which is uh, absolutely fine. So, today I've just seen uh, a weather forecast. It looks like we're going to be trying to dodge weather today. Which in my uh, history always goes uh, adequately well. But we, uh, we still go out because we're going to be doing the line to Pontypridd today. Now, we're going to be leaving the hotel in about 10 minutes or so. Because we're going to go do Cardiff Central first thing. I have had a look on real time. It seems the Transport for Wales allocations are not showing. Which uh, is a bit worrying, I would say. Because, well, Transport for Wales allocations. Now, I don't believe we should see any 231s today on the Ponty Free line. Because I don't think they've been cleared for that side yet. So it should be... Oh, loads of 150s should be whether it will be or not is an entirely different matter altogether um, but first things first we've got to get to Cardiff Central and then after that we're going to do all stations between Cardiff to Queen Street and Ponty Preed not doing Cardiff Queen Street because we've already done that uh, but we're going to finish then in cafes. And there's a reason we're finishing in cafes. That'll become clear when we uh, when we do uh, when we do it later. So let's go out. Let's go have some fun. Uh, gonna finish getting dressed and then uh, it's off to uh, off into the valleys again.
you dirty, 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 dirty flats. They sent me some 756s, namely number three and number six. Ergo, hey, thank you very much. You must be on test. Where are you going? Well, you're going the other way, actually. I don't care. I've got 756s at Cardiff Central. <laughs> Ergo, well, I can't really say you can suck on that, can you? The next train to depart from platform 4 will be the 0716 Transport for Wales, service to Swansea, calling at Bridgen, Kyle, Port Arthur Parkway, Bagnan, Platform E and the Cosanaeth Dalek now in the Uyther Gloch Travnidiaeth Cymru e Lineavwy. The train now approaching Platform 1 is the 0731 Transport for Wales, service to Everbell Town. Calling at Pike Corner, Rogerston, Risca, Cross Keys, Newbridge, Van Hithlin, Everbell.
I see a 150. With my name all over it. And hopefully I'll be able to get on this thing. Glorious sprinters all day. Oh, his new Aberdeer had to come back. Ha! Yeah, but Jesus, it's been a long week. It's been a bitch of a week. I've been after for two days. Ah! Ah, find the bleeding shelter. It's under here. So here we are at our first station of the day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Pontypreed Railway Station, operated by Transport Wells with three platforms to its name and opened in 1840 by the Taff Valley Railway as uh, Newbridge Junction before in 1866 being uh, converted to Pontypreed. However, that didn't last uh, for very long because in 1924 it was renamed to Pontypreed Central before in June of 1930, I do believe, it was renamed back to Pontypreed. Uh, now, this is as far as we're going to be going because after here, there's no Traherbert services. So all you get into the Murphy services and the Aberdare services. Basically with all the improvement works that are going on on the Traherbert line at the moment, no trains are going up there. In fact, they're not even coming up here to terminate. So we're down uh, services. You can see, if you look over the railing, uh, you'll be able to see the uh, rail replacement buses uh, just, so I say, there for uh, Traherbert. I believe the... Um, the silver one, the, the second one over here, that's a uh, X Go Northwest uh, Sitaro. Certainly uh, looks like it. Anyway, we're here for an hour and then we're off to our next station, which is Murphy, which is Traforest Estate. University. It's not too bad. Well, folks, we've arrived at our third station of the day. This is Traforest Railway Station, operated by Transport for Wales. It's got two platforms to its name and was opened in uh, 1844 as uh, Traforest by the Taff Vale Railway. Not the Taff Valley Railway, as I said in uh, Ponty Breed. Uh, in 1924, it was then renamed to Traforest Low Level, but that only lasted six years before it got renamed back to Traforest in uh, 1930. And then in May of 1980, it was renamed to Traforest. With two Fs. Yeah, two Fs. Um, you can also change here for the University of South Wales. Uh, their Traforest campuses zoom in that direction. I don't know. But uh, it's a bit wet out there at the moment. Now, this rain is only going to last, I think, for this station. It's going to ease off fully when we get to Traforest Estate, which is going to be next. Traforest Estate, easily, I would say, one of my best favourite stations uh, in this uh, section. But uh, here for an hour, and then we go to Traforest Estate. It's only 150-2s on this line. Sad.
you sure? Literary Island. Yeah, all right, all right. Give me a second. Give me a second. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on our fourth station of the session. This is a uh, Forest Estate, operated by Transport for Wales. It has two platforms and an island configuration. Um, pretty sure it's only one of two island platforms on the valley lines. This one and uh grange town somebody's gonna correct me because i'm gonna have missed the station off but i'm pretty confident that it's only them two that are island platforms uh this station was opened in 1942 by the great western railway uh to mainly serve the industrial estate which is just behind that tree line and that building there all in that area it's behind all of that there now what i will say is if you are coming to the Trafalgar estate for the fast 150s right now as it is right now get here before the december of 2025 because they are going to relocate this station not sure where but they're going to relocate it yeah look at it, it is heaming down with rain right this is stopped in Traforest, which is two minutes up the way why the hell is it still going on here why? And it's just my luck. I'm, I'm out and now it's uh, bad weather. I'm, what is it, three and one now. I blame Simon. <laughs> Here for an hour and then we're off to Taff Wells. is still ucky. Still. Uh, right then, ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived at station number five for the uh, day. This is Tafwell Station, operated by Transport for Wells. It has two platforms to its name and was originally opened in 1863 as Walnut Tree Junction uh, before being renamed in 1886 to Walnut Tree Bridge. And then at the uh, turn of the century, 1900, it's adapted its name, current name, Taff Wells. Uh, it is undergoing, as you can tell from uh, behind me here, quite a lot of redevelopment. Uh, the station's been redeveloped uh, a lot. I mean, I'll show you over my uh, shoulder here. You can see that both platforms are being worked on. Uh, the area behind me is being worked on as well. And around the corner, I do believe, so around that corner about there, you will find the new depot they're building for the 398s uh, that are going to use uh, here. But uh, as a, oh no, there are uh, stanchion mats up yet, but uh, only sporadically. So yeah, we will be coming back here when the 398s get in operation, but when that will be is uh, anybody's guess. But uh, here for an hour, and then we're off to uh, Red Earth.
Now, once that tanker gets out of the way, let me, in fact, let me lower it a bit. There you go. If you can see through the grating, you'll be able to see your first glimpse right there of the Class 398 sitting in Tafwell's depot. I didn't notice it here until someone pointed it out, but because uh, I thought they were the other way. But uh, no, they are right there. There's three of them in there. I don't know if you can see just in the roof uh, there. There's 398006, which is the one at the front here, uh, and then 398008 and 007 at the rear. And there's, there's some discrepancy about what they're going on. I always thought they were going to be for Coratons. Rather a Coratons. But uh, no, they could end up on the Abadares apparently. I don't think they will. That will be for the 756s, I guarantee you. Uh, there you go, you can have a proper look at it. Well, there is a fourth one. There is a fourth one, look. It's, uh... See that second stanchion? That's where it is, there's a fourth one in there. But how in the world are they going to get out? to call them a taxi to get to, to the other ramp. Oh, ah, they've killed Radur. You have killed Radur. We're here at uh, station number six for the day. This is uh, Radur, operated by Transport for Wales with three platforms, with platforms one and two being the main line platforms up into the valleys and platform three being the one behind me, being the terminating platform for the trains of Coriton. Uh, originally it opened in June of 1883 as a Panath Junction and it was four or five tracks wide this uh, place because this was seen as a major gateway into the Glamorgan Valleys but uh, as you can tell all the traffic has since subsided and now we're left with the shell of what is uh, Radur. You don't need to be in there, mate. There you go. Go to the other one. You're absolutely fine there. Um, the wires have gone up. Now I am seeing wires on the um, bay platform. Well, it's not a bay platform; it's a through platform. But that would then lend itself to the three nine eights coming off this. I'm I'm fairly confident when they were bought, the three nine eights were going to be for the Coriton, which would be seen as the increased strength for the Coriton service because at the moment it's one coach and now it's going to go up to three. But you never know what goes through uh, Transport Wells' mind. You really don't. Anyway, here for an hour, and then we're off to Khandaf.
there. I wonder if we could all do pass uh, this way through the taxi and the step ladder. Tell you what, if that's dry, I'm sitting on that. Is that dry? Ooh. It's very close. Meine fein fucking mum. Which translated into English, it's the motherfucking bench. Uh, right then, everybody, welcome to Chlandas Station. Operated by Transport for Wales, it's got two platforms to its name. And Chlandas was opened in October of 1840 by the Taff Vale Railway. Um, but uh, by 1910, it was renamed to Chlandas for Whitchurch as this uh, station serves not only the northern end of Llandaff, but also the suburb of Whitchurch as well. That's Whitchurch in Wales, not Whitchurch near Shrewsbury. Is there a Whitchurch near Shrewsbury? I'm sure there is a Whitchurch near Shrewsbury. Um, also, but then uh, by 1980, it was changed back to Llandaff. So yeah, now we're on the other side. We're on the um, side that goes to Radur because uh, at the moment they are doing, uh, as you can see it there, they're doing work over on the uh, station building of uh, the Cardiff bound platform. So uh, we're over here. We're with uh, the bench. Life is good. Life is good. We only have one more station to do and that's Cate's. Uh, and that is going to be our last station, and we're actually then going to leave Cate's, and we're going to go to uh, where we need to go after that. Uh, well, I've just seen that. What is that? What, what is this? What is that? That looks like a... That looks like somebody's talk. Like, you know those um, cream-filled biscuits? Somebody split them in half and put one on there. What a waste of a biscuit. Anyway, we're here for an hour, and then we're off to Cate's. What a waste of a biscuit, Daddy.
how cute's this? That's the name of my sister's as well. Maybe filming on this footbridge was meant to be. Oh, let me get down this footbridge because this is the only way you can cross uh, at this station, cafes. There we go, right. Now I can uh, start my walk over to uh, Sophia Gardens. Uh, so yeah, we just done cafes. Uh, Transport for Wells operated two Ooh, platforms. Uh, cafes was opened in 1983, the year I was born. So, uh, happy birthday cafes, you're 40 years old. I'm as old as Cafes Railway Station. Who would, I remember this place. Yeah, I remember this place well. We stopped here, didn't we? Yeah, we stopped here with the Megabus. It was a little down, uh, a little bit down that, that sort of direction now. You can cross now, brilliant. So yeah, they opened it in 1983 uh, with the backing of the, uh, the Welsh Government because uh, of the campus uh, here. Uh, we go straight, uh, straight on. That's what we do. So yeah, I got jobs worked at uh, Cat A's. Apparently, you're not allowed to train spot because there's a security risk today. But yet, I was at, I was at Cardiff Queen Street earlier. There was no security. I've done 19 other stations this, these last two days. There's been no problems. Even at Cardiff uh, Queen Street, where normally there is problems. I think it was to do with the fact that the station is built smack bang in the middle of the university. She got a bit too over. What people don't realise is, right, big fan. <laughs> what people don't realise is, right, I'm an extra pair of eyes. If anything goes wrong, right, say a member of staff got assaulted, say an incident happened on the track i'm an extra pair of eyes so i could have helped out but no anyway i went to the footbridge because not only is kate's non-dda compliance it doesn't even have a foot it doesn't even have a disabled access although it will do very soon apparently the only way over is a public foot footbridge so uh nah. I did it on the public footbridge instead. But uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the end of the uh, thing now. So now I'm going to go over here because I've got to get to Sophia Gardens. That 22 plate MMC there. Well, I ain't leaving without that. I'm back in a moment. It left before I can have a chance. No, come back! <laughs> Although Scania 769 is there. Nice. So, yeah, we've got to get over to Sophia Gardens now. Because that is the uh, pickup point for a coach company I have not used for a good number of years. Those who know me know I'm a Megabus guy. Mainly because it was drilled into my head by Phil. <laughs> That's all Phil's fault, not mine. So, uh, we have to go on National Express to get back to Beaminum. It's going to be interesting to see what, uh, what they're like now going forward. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you at Sophia Gardens. Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama, everybody. And I think that is Sophia Gardens over there. I think. That's right, I'm under trees. I think it's trying to rain. Don't let it rain on my parade. Okay, I won't, uh, I won't sing anymore. Or maybe I should just keep singing. 
No, if I keep thinking it'll rain. We don't want rain. Rain bad. Behold. Hey, man, see more your... I can go down that way. Oh, that's even better. I'm allowed one bus a video, and that is the bus I choose. Right. Uh, danger. No access to pedestrians or cyclists. I saw a cycle guy go down this way. That's screw off, I'm going down this way. You can't have a cycle guy come down here and make having one rule for one of rum rule rum rule Oh god I've got Jonathan Ross syndrome. One rule for another. Am I right or am I wrong? And even here it says caution pedestrians and cyclists. Five. Yeah, it's about what speed I go anyway. <laughs> right. I think I go down that path there. Those who remember a certain F1 game, a sneaky short cut by Poole. Oh, he didn't like that. Fighting for it! I think that's my destination over there. There's just one small problem. Well, it's not a small problem. It's kind of a big problem. That's the uh, that's the Taff, isn't it? Yeah, I ain't messing with uh, the River Taff today, so let's go find uh, a bridge. Gotta say, I've really enjoyed this walk. It's not often I have to walk. Well, they said this was a 15 minute walk on uh, Google Maps. It's not often I get to walk to uh, destinations, but uh, when I do, generally I uh, enjoy them. The exception to that is when I went to Merford Tipville uh, Travel Lodge. That was not an enjoyable walk from Merford Tipville train station for a lot of reasons. <sighs> All right, find the bridge. It is indeed the bridge I is looking for. And uh, my location is not over there. It's over there. <laughs> yeah, is this the Taff? Yeah, it's got to be the Taff because uh, there's the Millennium Stadium over there. No, well, the Principality Stadium, I should call it now. <sighs> oh. Really enjoyed that. Right, now I'll go find my coach. No, I was right the first time. I thought that is the way I thought it. It's not, it's over here. Let's see where I need to go. He's sleeping well off. Right. So now I'll wait for the triple digit. This is mine. Uh, no, it is not. That is the one going to Haverford West. No, it's not mine. Mistakes are made. It's not my children. It's a triple one. Yes, the button code. Oh, code. You, you're, <laughs> you're very lucky. <laughs> Uh, here's my coach. Now those who uh, know my travels with National Express realises that one follows me around every bloody where I go. Travel Star European Scania Caetano Levante 2 BV19 XPA E and I am sick and tired of seeing it. Although to be fair I haven't seen it for five years, so let's go! 
Oh, well, thank you for your hospitality, Cardiff. I'll leave Wells alone now for the year. We got. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm slow. I'm very slow. Ah, very slow. Ah, very slow. Oh. Owie, owie, owie. Oh. I'll do a lot of that. I've had someone scrunched up right against me for two hours. Oh, you did? Yeah. I got off on a Oh, right. Five past eight. You go through that. Why are you telling me exit's there? The exit is clear. One job. One job, National Express. I won't be using them again. No. Who is this for the trams? What's this? Where are these going? Somebody tell me where these trams are going very quickly. Behold, I am back in Birmingham. I've been greeted appropriately. MMCs! Uh, Which way do I go now? Can I go that way? Yes, I can. Do I want to though? No. MMC. Big MMC. Not an MMC. This is my public service announcement, folks. To tell you never ever skip leg day. Fortunately, they built a ramp for me, so uh, I could skip leg day. <laughs> but it's still very, very steep. Ugh. That sounds like my leg. Now that to take me to Rootway. Pretty please gonna have that. Pretty, pretty, pretty please. Can I can I have can I have that to go to Rootley instead? I got I got a horrible feeling what's about to happen. They're about to drop something uh, on me called a 352. Please cut the 323. Come back 323. I want the 196 now. I want the 196. I want that. It is a two, isn't it? Ugh. Son of the absolute. Blech. Behold, an area that we like. Uh, which oh, it's starting to rain. Did I, did I leave my phone in Cardiff? My other phone. I hope I didn't. No, I'm pretty sure I had it on the bus. <sighs> right then, folks. We're back home. We're back home. Um, slowly getting through a lot of content, and I mean a lot, a lot of content. <laughs> I think we walked away with about 20 stations from uh, from all of that. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> 20 stations. Um, all in all, I can honestly say that uh, Wales was fantastic, as usual. Let me just uh, open this up here. Totally not sponsored by Coca-Cola, although we wish to be. We never will be, but, you know. Um, if I had to choose highlights... I would um, certainly say riding the uh, 
finally getting to ride the uh, the class two free ones big highlight um seeing the seven five sixes big highlight um the low point well we know what the low point is it's gonna be Kate's to, 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 to give you some context of Kate's okay to give you some context that member of staff was given a righteous holier than now attitude that her station that she was managing was larger than stations in London and that me being there was a security risk okay she didn't go beyond what the security risk was I asked her she she refused to divulge that information <clears throat> to which I then said well hang on if there was a security risk on Transport for Wales network that day why was I not stopped at Cardiff Central which is Let's be honest, Cate's might be the seventh most used station in, I think, in the valleys, but Cardiff, Cree, Cardiff Central and Cardiff Queen Street are going to be one and two. Yet, Cardiff Central, no problem. Cardiff Queen Street, no problem. Traforest is staffed, no problem. Uh, I believe Bargode is staffed, no problem. Radder is staffed, no problem. Why Cate's? Clandaff as well, I think. Clandaff is staffed as well. Um, no problem. And that's the station up from Cate's. So, you know, I, I moved. I moved. Um, I went to the footbridge just outside the station because the footbridge is a public right of way. So they have literally no power uh, there. She was still gobbing off between filming. So let let her be, let her be. That's all I can say. She's not putting a a dampener on the on the situation. But uh, anyway, hope you all enjoyed Wales. I certainly did. We're going to be going back next year definitely. I'm not sure if it's going to be from a March holiday or my August holiday. It'll be one of the two. Probably the likelihood to be August. I'm I'm like I said. I'm just not sure. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so. Thank you to the channel members as well. If you want to become a channel member, um, it's easy to join. Uh, $3.99, uh, it'll cost you. You get the vlogs early. You get a nice badge next to your name. You get your name mentioned at the end of every vlog as well as a thank you to you. Uh, cannot thank everyone enough who's uh, become a member. Really, really, really does mean a hell of a lot. Uh, next up, we are going to be going to... I'm not sure. I fancy the Crew Manchester line for some reason. I honestly fancy uh, doing that for some reason, but uh, like I say, I'm not uh, not sure. But uh, like I said, thank you all. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you uh, all in the valleys uh, next year. But uh, we'll see you all in the next vlog next time. Kick back and reminisce. Thinking about the dumb shit I did. Growing up. Maybe a bitch, but I keep on going Cause I know I can do this I was born a baby